Are you tired of not sleeping? Well, CBN wants to rival melatonin as your weapon to better sleep. Welcome, my name is David Jolly, and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I would really appreciate it if you did. Thanks. Well, melatonin is widely used as a sleep aid and has proven to be a popular alternative to prescription drugs such as Ambien. Those who use melatonin prefer it to the alternatives due to the fact that it is natural, affordable, non-habit forming, readily available without a prescription, and without the side effects of traditional options. And there may also be some additional benefits to taking melatonin, as it has some antioxidant properties that can help reduce the production of cortisol, the stress hormone, control blood pressure, and enhance the immune system. Well, guess what? There is now a competitor to melatonin with many of the same benefits and perhaps even more. CBN, or cannabinol, is a cannabinoid compound that many believe will bring sound sleep to those who use it. Advocates of CBN have readily promoted the fact that CBN has unique sleep-promoting effects, and one of the major benefits is that sound slumber was not followed by groggy after-effects or a fog the next morning. Anecdotal claims expound on clarity and the feeling of restful sleep the next morning. CBN is the most sedative of all of the cannabis compounds. CBN is formed when THC, the main active ingredient in cannabis, is heated and exposed to oxygen. Cannabinoid type receptor 1, or CB1, is the most studied receptor in the endocannabinoid system. The manner in which different cannabinoids bind with this receptor has a significant influence on their effect. For example, when THC binds, it leads to a euphoric or intoxicated sensation. CBN acts in a similar manner as THC in the body's CB1 receptors, but in a much milder way. CBN's preference is to bind with CB2 rather than CB1. And similar to another and better known cannabis compound, CBD, the benefits of consuming CBN include improved sleep quality, pain relief, and anti-inflammation. However, CBN is far more powerful than CBD when it comes to sleep and sleep quality. While CBN doesn't make you high, it does promote a mild hypnotic feeling. There is debate as to whether it induces a mild psychoactive effect, but what seems to be uncontroverted is that it does produce a calming effect. There is research that suggests that 2.5 to 5 milligrams of CBN has a similar effect to a moderate dose of Valium, and of course, without the side effects of Valium. There are other studies that claim that CBN may lengthen sleep. However, like everything cannabis, we are lacking legitimate studies, and CBN has very few scientific studies. As a result, looking into these studies suggests some problems. The Greater Length of Sleep study combines CBN with another drug that has sedative effects, and the comparison to Valium studied only five male subjects. Clearly, these studies are flawed, but there remains scientific optimism and anecdotal excitement over CBN and its positive effect on sleep. And the question remains, will CBN overtake melatonin in the natural sleep war? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> While it's true that the demand of CBN or for CBN is increasing steadily, and according to MJ Biz Daily, last year's sales of CBN reached more than $65 million in California, Colorado, Nevada, and Oregon, such numbers pale by comparison with melatonin. Melatonin is projected to reach $2.4 billion in sales by 2025. The real reason why CBN will not compete with melatonin for the sleep aid crown is due to availability and price. Melatonin can be purchased in pharmacies, supermarkets, large department stores, and of course, Costco. You can also order them online. You cannot get CBN in any of these ways. CBN, the real stuff, contains THC, and that is not readily available. Additionally, cannabis is not legal in every state, so availability may be dependent on location. And of course, CBN remains federally illegal because no one at the federal level cares. In addition, there's also a significant cost difference. For example, you can get a bottle of 180 melatonin pills for around $10. 
but a package of 20 CBN pills would be around $35. CBN appears to be very promising, with evidence suggesting more sound sleep and no groggy after effects in the morning. But it seems far-fetched to presume that CBN will challenge melatonin. It won't. However, it does appear to be potentially a superior product for those who live in states where cannabis is legal and for those with larger bank accounts. Regardless, it's exciting news, and CBN could be very beneficial for those with certain sleep disorders. For more cannabis and legal videos, please subscribe to this channel.